In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a fast and simple method for making objects like this log float on your water. So let's get started. All right. The first thing that we need to do in order to make objects float on our water is we need to add water to our scene, obviously. And if you haven't followed my previous tutorials for adding a river to your level, uh, go ahead and do that. I'll put the link right here and you can click on that and go back and follow my tutorial for adding a river to your level. The next thing that we need to do is uh, add a floatable object to the scene. and Epic has made this really easy to do because they included example content with the water plugin. So what we're going to do is come here to the view options in the content browser and we're going to turn on show engine content and also show plugin content in order to be able to see that example content that they've added. The next thing that we're going to do is come over here to the content browser and we're just going to type water in the search filter. And here we have the water folder and inside the water content folder is the blueprints folder. In that blueprints folder, there's this object called BP buoyancy example, which is a, an example of a floating object. And all we have to do is click and drag that into our scene. And you can see that it comes in in the form of a nice cube, uh, but we can make it whatever we want. Let's, um, I just want to show you this really quickly. I'm going to put our cube here in the scene and then I'll hit play and I'll show you what that does. So now you can see that we've got our mannequin running around in our scene here and we've got our nice cube and the cube is floating on the water. I can push it and you can see that it's kind of running into the bottom because our river is not very deep, but if it were a little bit deeper, it would, it would be floating a little bit better, but you can see that this cube is interactive and I can, push it around with my mannequin. And if I just kind of le leave it alone, it'll sort of mosey its way down the river. And that's pretty cool. But, you know, obviously we probably don't want floating cubes in our river. We want something else. So let's go ahead and jump out of uh, our play mode here. And I'm going to select my cube. And you can see that the cube here has a buoyancy object and it also has a static mesh object. If I click on static mesh, you can see that right now the static mesh is set to editor cube. But what I really want is a log, kind of like this other one that I showed you a minute ago. So all I need to do is come here to my content. I'll get rid of the uh, water filter. And I'll come here to my Megascans content 3D assets. And here you can see I've got a couple of different uh, tree logs. So I'm going to pick this one, Mossy Tree Log 1. And I'll just click it and drag it into the static mesh slot on my buoyancy object. You can see that now that cube turns into a log. Pretty cool. Uh, by the way, this, this static mesh here that I have is something that I downloaded from Megascans. I'll put the link to that down in the description so you'll know which object that it is. But it's one that we've been using previously uh, as a decoration for our landscape. So now that I've dragged that into my static mesh slot, the object is ready to go. I can just hit save and then I'll hit play again. And now you can see that I've actually got two floating logs. I turned this one that used to be a cube into a log. So, so basically that's it. Any object that you want to have floating in your water, you can just add that BP buoyancy example object and then drag a static object into it and now you have an object that will float on your water. Pretty cool. Now there is one pretty fairly obvious missing piece here, and that is the ripples of our water don't really respond to our mannequin character or to our log. So we need to set up our water in a way that will allow us to uh, make ripples so that the water looks like it's actually uh, sloshing and waving around, responding to our character. Now that's a little bit more complex process, and so we're not gonna focus on that this week. However, 
In next week's video, I am going to do a tutorial on interactive water and show you how to set things up so that the water will actually respond uh, to the player and to objects floating around in the water like this log. That one's going to be cool. So if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and come back next week uh, to see the tutorial on interactive water. I hope you enjoyed this short one. It was pretty simple, but I mean, it shows how easy the process actually is to make objects that float on your water. And I hope to see you all next week when we talk about uh, making the water interactive. Have a great week, everybody.